another thing important is, is the the meaning of the meaning of meaning. Okay. Yeah. Some people say it's silly to look for purpose to meaning. Just live. <laughs> okay. So that thinking is dangerous because. Sure, Franco talk about appreciate uh, experiential meaning. Just, just enjoy life. Sure, but you, but without a sense of purpose, you have no way to channel your energy to create something. You know, create something that only you can create. But everybody's unique. So therefore, the the thing that oh, just enjoy living. See, it's part of the part of meaning. They don't call it experiential value. But most important part, most existential psychology is creative meaning. You have the purpose, you have the calling, you are made for a particular purpose. Just like apple tree grow apple. Orange tree grow orange. A fish is made to swim, a bird made to fly. So, so we are all made for purpose. I think Picasso said that the meaning of life is to find your, your gift and then give the, give the, the purpose of life is to give your gift away. So you find your gift and give the gift away as, as your offering, as your sacrifice for the world. So Christian meaning means that what I discover my calling, I put in all my heart, all my soul, all my might into this into this task to create something of value to offer to society. If I'm a basketball, if I'm a basketball player, I'll be the the best basketball player to 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 show people how to play this game. To inspire, inspire other people how to play the game. So that's my meaning. I, I create value by putting all my heart, all my soul into it. I'm a psychologist. I say, I better learn from other people. There's so much to be learned. I'm still learning. I do my, do my every day I learn something. Mm -hmm. So trying to create something, the process the process of learning, growing, is joy. It's happiness. It is. It, you're treating yes. joy. And also, yeah. striving toward a goal. That gener generates dopamine. It does. I was going to talk about dopamine, um, Paul. I think the way the world was prior to COVID, we got a lot more dopamine hits a lot more cheaply. So I, it was easy to get a dopamine hit. You went to a movie, you went shopping, you bought yourself something, you saw a friend, you had an adventure. Dopamine was more readily available with external sources. Mm -hmm. To me, COVID, with all the bad stuff that's happening, but if there's a, an invitation within this, it's to realize we need to be able to generate dopamine intrinsically within ourselves. Yeah. That as long as we're reliant on external hits, we're basically addicts to the world. Yeah. And until we can turn to ourselves, yeah. Yeah. we can't rely on ourselves for happiness. Yeah, yeah exactly. But the, 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 the nice part is that that by, by product, we're not seeking seeking the chemical high. But it's by product, by creating solution of value, so uh, add some value to make this world a better place, to add some value to other people's lives. But the byproduct that feel good because of happy chemistry. <laughs> and There's uh, new research saying that actually everything we do is really for dopamine. Yeah. That we don't even know that we are driven to have a dopamine hit. And even when we make a difference to someone's life, yeah. We get the dopamine release. Yeah, yeah. The so, so that's, that's better. Yeah. So, so that's yeah. why. Uh, so that's creative value. That's a purpose. Okay. So that's why you need both. Enjoy life. Enjoy the simple pleasures. Enjoy the beautiful world we live. 
but it also our life become more meaningful if we have a purpose. We need both, not either all, okay? Yes. Uh.